After all that, do you think you're worthy of sharing the name Harmonia with me? You good for nothing boy! What is Getsis? An evil mastermind? A master manipulator? The most evil villain in Pokemon? A terrible father? Well, the answer is all of it. When we enter a Camilla town, we see a man surrounded by medieval looking knights representing a team called Team Plasma. This man speaks of liberating Pokemon from trainers because Pokemon should be free in the wild, not subject to the command of selfish trainers that all those trainers use those Pokemon to challenging and that was challenging what built the Pokemon world a huge accusation that makes everyone think are we making a mistake are we harming the Pokemon that we love thinking it was good gets a sows the seed of doubt to everyone including the player painting himself as a liberator a man that is here to help Pokemon and shaming trainers for using them for battles something that trainers would reject immediately but he doesn't target trainers that no Pokemon are partners no not animals used for entertainment no he targets regular folk people that don't have as deep of connection like Pokemon trainers thus creating peer pressure to Pokemon trainers to feel bad too or get shamed into letting go Pokemon or Team Plasma that way Getsis creates conflict between the people of the Pokemon world he didn't challenge their views and attract outcasts of society through promises of superiority like Cyrus instead he bleeds to them convinces them that they are doing the bad thing acting as a false prophet for a false cause for a false king he targets people that have weaker connection to Pokemon people that are easier to guilt because of their lack of knowledge and some even experience with Pokemon thus creating pressure against those who do know creating an army that bids his will without destroying a world or some object and not directly harming people or Pokemon but that's only before he loses for the first time you see gets us changes his way after he loses to the champion who won against N. In a classic manipulator way, when he gets exposed, he resorts to more direct ways to achieve his goals by literally nuking a city with ice beams to threaten those who defy him. So he changes his way from trying to control the masses through manipulation to control them with fear after all Getsus lost his biggest card the most important part of the puzzle and because Getsus was a master manipulator and the reason his manipulation worked so well in the first game more than the second is because he lost his shield and cover and after all, we are more likely to accept a message from a person who seems to believe in the cause rather than the billionaire that funds it. And that's why he completely stops manipulating and instead resorts to fear to become a king. And it is shown in the final battle of version 2 where we see the most shocking thing about him. A certain Pokemon because you see the previous three game main villains always had one Pokemon that they had in common Robot 
a Pokemon that evolves from Golbat by maximizing friendship, knowing that although these villains had self-serving ambitions, they still were good and really loved their Pokemon. Because they were villains, not complete monsters, but Getsis had something that showed that he was a complete waste of oxygen, a monster beyond redemption, an evil bastard. Unlike previous villains, Getsis' most powerful Pokemon, Hydreigon, had a unique move called Frustration, and this move was matched by Hydreigon, a very violent Pokemon. A move that you can get almost immediately after you meet the new Team Plasma in the version 2. And this move can only get stronger the more your Pokemon hates you, thus showing Hydreigon completely, completely hates Getsis and has zero love to his trainer in a way we never saw before, making you think about the evil that this Pokemon had to have seen after the first Pokemon Black and White events. And this, this monster didn't even want to stop at Unova, because after Getsis gets defeated, the Shadow Triad gets the player three orbs that are needed to summon the gods of Pokemon alluding that Getsis wanted to do what Cyrus did who he was keeping eyes on with Team Rocket as we have seen from the dialogue of Plasma Grunts in the castle so he must have also knew about the crystal chains that Cyrus used to summon and capture the gods of Pokemon and I would go a step further to assume that he must have tried to get as much of Team Rocket resources as possible like their black market routes to sell Pokemon and possibly even cloning technology that Team Rocket had from the first movie the last being somewhat of a reach but that doesn't hide the fact that he had the orbs and he was observing Team Galaxy so he was going to try to be a god if he want in Unova and unlike Cyrus he can prepare for Giratina thus succeeding where Cyrus lost. In conclusion, Getsis is a scary monster that is beyond redemption from manipulating the masses to let go of their Pokemon, nuking cities, abandoning his child whatever he did to his Pokemon to possibly have ambitions of godhood. So thank god the player, the champion, defeated him. Or the Pokemon world would have become the Dragon Quest world. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and liking it so that you can get more and support me. To support me. Goodbye.